Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Sivano CHD. If this is your first time here, kindly click on the red subscribe button, subscribe to this channel, and also click on the bell icon for notifications. So whenever I drop new videos, you always stay updated and notified. Don't also forget to follow me on Instagram at masterblessed. Follow me. Let me know what kind of videos you want to see, and I'll make that for you guys as always. As we've seen on the title already, the video allegedly takes fourth baby mama and son for DNA test. Also, actress um, Moyo Lawan reacts to claim that she sleeps with politicians for money, married politicians for money. She reacted saying um, she's at liberty to do anything she wants and she also said a lot of other stuff. But before getting all those stories, let's take a look at all that things that has been happening in the Nigerian entertainment industry. Popular influencer Breaking Face is dead. Nigerian blogger and influencer Onomu Bokbo Ogenechuku, popularly known as Breaking Face, is dead. According to reports, Breaking Face died in his sleep on Sunday, October 3rd. He was said to have gone to bed healthy the night before but never woke up. Major personality had his first ever show tagged outside with Breaking Face scheduled for November 27th before his sudden demise. His friends have taken to social media to pay tribute and express sadness over his passing. Former Delta State House of Assembly Speaker Osane B. Friday wrote on Instagram, Breaking Face, what a sad story this early morning. I woke up with the root shock of your untimely demise just for this to my birthday. Last year, you added glamour to the celebration in your unique ways, imparted lives, God. This is heartbreaking. Most shocking is that you slept very sound and didn't wake up. Ochuku, why? What exactly is happening? Indeed, our mind is too small to comprehend something as huge as death. Painful. Instagram celebrity Monfa, who was also friend with the deceased, wrote, Our memories is my keepsake, with which we will never part. God has you in his keeping. I offer you in my heart. Always rest in peace, my surest breaking face, till we meet again. Guys, please drop your um, condolence messages in the comment section for breaking face and his family. May you so rest in peace. Speaking about comedian, um, Instagram comedian Cute Abiola becomes a proud homeowner as he acquires a new mansion. Popular Nigerian comedian and IG skit maker Cute Abiola has become a proud homeowner after he recently acquired a mansion. The well-known skit maker took to his official Instagram page earlier today to disclose the good news to his followers. You may recall that a 25-year-old comedian earlier had tied the knot with his heart rub months ago, in yet another achievement at a very young age. While reacting to posts from some of his comedian colleagues who took to their respective pages to celebrate with him over his latest acquisition, Cute Abiola shared photos of what his new mansion looks like. Well, congratulations to Cute Abiola and I beg when they try to tell us something for the city this morning. Me too, goodbye, bye house. Guys, drop your congratulatory messages for um, Cute Abiola in the comment section. Still on the update, David Dodd allegedly takes his fourth baby mama and son for a DNA test. You remember a few months after Choma gave birth to um, if I was it after yeah it was after Choma gave birth to if a few months after a there was a report that a lady named um, Larissa London was pregnant for David Doe and the uh, the, the child the gender of the child is is male and there were there were a lot of controversies about this and a lot of people said this was the reason why David Doe and Choma broke up but ever since then they haven't really confirmed if the child is David Doe's or the child is um not for him now reports have come out that the video has gone to do dna tests and all of that first let's read a recent report has alleged that nigerian singer david Doe took his alleged fourth baby mama and her son for a dna test and the result allegedly confirmed that the child is david Doe's son blogger cute jews who shared the information on her platform wrote ladies and gentlemen your amiable mistress presents to you mama dawson adeleke and papa dawson adeleke Legit sources from London, UK confirms our superstar David Doe to be the biological father of Larissa London's son. The source says that the DNA test was conducted somewhere last month when David Doe was in London. The result showed that Dawson is David Doe 100% biological son. Or more, it'd be like this October and a makeup month. September was full of violence. I beg, who they follow QT go Omugwa for London? Chibu Una, they remember, say we had to put Omugo on hold Abi. Now the road is clear. Oh yeah, online in laws make Una pack Una bags. We they go do Omugo for London. A choke. Wow, guys, what do you think about this? What do you think about this report this blogger is giving? Do you think David Doe really has another child with another woman? Apart from Sophia Momodu and then Choma with his other American woman, do you think? David Doe, this report is true that David Doe really has 
a child with this woman in London? And do you think this is enough reason for um, Choma to break up with David Doe and for their relationship to go grow apart? Do you think this is enough? Guys, let me know what you think about this matter in the comment section. Still on the update, um, singer Bremo calls out to face Edibia, saying he falsely accused him of sleeping with his wife. Popular singer and vocalist Bremo has recently took to a social media page to call out veteran Nigerian artist to face Edibia. Bremo revealed that some years ago he was attacked by some boys on behalf of Two Faced, who seemingly accused him of sleeping with his wife. He also went on to say that Two Faced had warned him by style not to feel like becoming so big to take away his crown of the biggest musician or he will face consequence. Bremo took to a social media micro blogging platform Twitter on Monday night to share his experience with his followers. He wrote, Minutes later, my host said he was walking down to another guest house where some guy had messed up and must be punished told me to come but didn't wait for me well i was the guy it turned out when i arrived at the gate on the street i was asked to show id i tried to truly forcefully open the gate stating that i was a guest of the hotel and didn't need id four boys busted through the gate and launched an offense at me i fought back too of course got a black eye too later i found out from an undisclosed source that mr idibia was responsible for the attack Yet, I couldn't decide if it was for supposedly bedding his missus or for claiming the spot of the greatest artist alive. Next meet had Mr. Edibia himself present and he made a point of referencing another artist who in the past had claimed King at his expense, letting me know what my fate might be if I kept eyeing his throne. Weeks later, I saw the other act bowing to him repeatedly on stage. Weeks later, I was lured into being hosted by a friend I had just met. And after spending days getting high and philandering, I was asked if I would love to be part of an organization, of which I responded, well, I might want to, except I do not subscribe to being battered. It may be prudent of him to desist from such interaction with things and people that are close to me in my domestic spaces and in field of survival. I have carried these emotions for many months and I won't rush to this for publicity. It's not funny. This is madness. I would later ask him directly of course and he denied flat then minutes later said as the source is also mentioned that some people said i was saying things about him and finished by saying people just talk and that the boys who attacked me called him a bone on that meeting with him my partner had asked me a question i had lied about before and i had confessed about the girl and when asked about seeing his baby mama he said he wasn't seeing her anymore and the wife stormed off not believing it. Now Bramo fought, he said. Up until a week ago, I have found myself being forcefully shoved to take on his life's image, to make his mistakes and experience his pain. Mr. Idibia has truly gone and trinkled with my life for months upon months. Fast forward to a few years ago, he approached me for a feature, specifically asking me to get on a track with him. I was initially reluctant to consider it because because I still didn't know why he did what he did at the press conference years before. Well, I got persuaded to meet. I had the week before so shared the company of his wife, a female friend of theirs and my partners, and my partner herself. And within minutes, she, Ms. Dibia, had asked what the future held for my career, a question I considered a slick attack. My answer was my future. I proceeded to respond that I will be Africa's finest act alive and that I will reign for a decade and I knew I had shot back nicely. Mr. Innocent Idibia had at an Afrima press conference in 2015 stroke 16 or thereabout walked into the room, sat beside me and elbowed me in a supposed greeting as much as four to five times repeatedly while looking away saying Primo, Primo and we exchanged you no know, other words that day. Now in 2012 I had the opportunity to tour the US with his company a most appreciated opportunity as he was by far my most respected act around. He was my first reference at everything and boy, I did look up to him. Guys, what do you think about this? Do you think Two-Face Edibia really did this and Primo is guilty of this act? What do you think about this, guys? And remember back then, like a few months ago when um, Annie Edibia called out Two-Face Edibia that, she was, that he was cheating. Um, Blogger Cheese Lover also came out to say to say that um, Annie Dibia was cheating so that um, it was that they were going to expose her, her sugar daddy. Are they trying to say the sugar daddy now is Brimo? 
guys what do you think about this let me know what you think about this in the comment section still on the update um fans set up gofundme to raise 30 million naira for liquor rose after she failed to win big brand and jar barely 12 hours after the conclusion of the big brand and jar shine your eye edition fans of liquor rose set up a gofundme account to raise donations for liquor rose after a 10 week straight battle for the grand prize of 90 million naira liquor rose finished as the first runner up why white money won the show and took all the 90 million naira as a way to so as a way to support their favorite housemates fans opened a gofundme in her name to help raise the sum of 30 million to support a career outside the house it could also be recalled that liquor rose won 20 million naira plus on the show from winning quite a number of house tax do you think liquor rose and her management knows about this gofundme what if this GoFundMe now has been done by somebody that is never related to Liquor Rose? And guys, if you are a Liquor Rose fan, will you donate to Liquor Rose? Come on, I think there are better things to donate to, but you know, I can't tell people what to use their money for. But if you feel donating for Liquor Rose is something you want to do, I think it's, it's okay to donate for her. And remember, while you are donating for Liquor Rose, also send money to my PayPal. Still on Liquor Rose, Liquor Rose talked about her, like, winning 20 million naira via house tax in the big brand Nigeria housemate saying that she was not aware guys let's take a look at the video clip of her talking about everything by the way people said that you had 20 million naira was it 20 million naira you got yeah that, that, that's what i i, I had that no, like, oh, tax I had money. over i'm like from tax i'm like what because people are not really telling me things and i i'm not i just got my phone and this is the first thing I came to just to go online. So I can't even write, I can't remember to go online. <laughs> I've not seen anything. And they're like, they just said it and they're like, I'm like, what did you just say? I said, well, not I'm like, did you say 20, over 20 million naira from what yeah. it's tax? Yeah, from tax, when you even get outside, I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> I really did that. Like, oh, man, know, you did, you I'm, did I'm well. Still, uh, I'm still trying to let everything say. Well, I'm so happy for her. She won 20 million yes. now. My question is, why, what is the point of like donating extra 30 million for her like doing go for me what is the point at least she took she still got something or like some housemaid that didn't get anything but like i said earlier guys if you want to donate to liquor rose please also donate to me just hit me up on instagram or my paypal link will be in the description still on big brand and jar um big brand and jar housemates tega cries out as she de deactivates her instagram account saying that she's mentally exhausted and she's done ex shine your high housemate tega has cried out over the level of cyber bullying and trolling she has witnessed following her participation in the big brand and jar show tega became a subject of troll for viewers due to her sex capades with her colleague boma while they were in the house although she and boma came out to clarify issues and stated that they were basically acting a script and nothing seriously happened it seems viewers haven't accepted that yet as backlashes seems to be coming by the day reacting to this tega took to her twitter handle to lament previously while stating she isn't perfect and she's done with online bullying a search of the word tega on instagram shows her page has gone extinct she wrote i am not perfect but i'm done done with negativity, done with online bullying, done with being judged constantly, I am mentally exhausted. Guys, you people should stop bullying Tega. Please don't let her do something crazy. But guys, do you really think Tega and Boma was acting on the script? Or do you think they are just saying that as a cover up, you know, to like make everybody be like, oh, it was a script. It wasn't real and everybody will just forget about the matter. Do you think it was a script? Let me know what you think about this in the comment section. And guys, please stop sending Tega hate messages. Please send her more love messages so that she can come back to social media. Lastly on the update, um, actress Moyo Lawan reacts to claims of her sleeping with married politician. She said she's at liberty to do anything she wants. Nigerian actress Moyo Lawan has finally broken silence after she was accused of sleeping with a married man and Bilunya David Sabo, a Taraba politician. Controversial Instagram blogger Gis Lover alleged that Muyo Lawan, Destiny Etiko, and Ghanaian actress Jackie Apia are having secret amorous affair with David Sabo for money and they are being bankrolled by him. In a recent update on her Instagram page, Muyo Lawan trashed all the allegations of dating David Sabo, 
and she claimed that when it comes to people living a decent lifestyle she's in the top 10 in terms of ranking according to the covey and heavily in down span she had made too many sacrifices to go in silent and she's single hence she's at liberty to do anything she wants and urge people to stick to the truth she captioned made too many sacrifices to let this rubbish go in silence and no too many hot toasters ask about me just so we are clear i am single hence at liberty to do anything i want but please let's stick to the truth i can beat my chest anywhere that i have been better behaved and it's not been easy i have had years where i abstained completely you think with that kind of self-control i still wouldn't have sense than most than most regular girls and even some married women love and light ml postscript swipe soon i will tell you people why this started in the first place but first i want to go and make my ever first guys let's take a look at the video clip of her saying everything really i've made way too many sacrifices like i said no to too many things in my life like even people who have dated me people who have tried to date me on this app they know how i am when it comes to so the last thing you can try to use to drag me down is Nah, 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 nah. Everybody is like, why did you talk? Stay quiet. But nah. I can beat my chest anywhere. You see, when it comes to being decent inside, eh? I'm on top 10. Top 10, guys. I can beat my chest. Top 10. Whatever it is that I've done in this life, mm, I have not been as bad as a regular girl. Like a regular girl that's not even hot like hot like that, you understand? I can say I'm still pretty much the same. Even some married women safe. Ah, oh, no, 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 don't. No, it's all wrong now, all wrong. See, I'm not saying neither am I married. So I have the liberty to do anything I want to do. Okay? But thou shalt not lie. Okay? If you're gonna write stuff or if you're gonna say stuff, try and stick to the truth. Please guys what do you think about what she's saying do you think from what she's saying now do you think she's guilty do you think um she sleeps with politicians and all these claims about um nigerian female celebrities sleeping with politicians and having politician sugar daddies do you think it's true and do you think um moyo lawan is among those celebrities that are you know sleeping with politicians for money guys what do you think about this let me know what you think about this and everything we talked about in this video in the comment section and that is all for this video guys if you enjoyed this video don't forget to slap a like click on the red subscribe button to subscribe to this channel and also click on the bell icon for notifications whenever i drop new videos you're always updated and notified follow me on instagram with that master player see you later for another video take care stay safe and peace